Well, this is new. Visitors are no longer allowed at three Connecticut hospitals. Yale, New Haven, St. Francis and St. Mary's all announcing that they are making the move as those coronavirus cases just keep climbing. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is at St. Francis and Hartford. And Mike, how long do we think these restrictions are going to be in place? Mark and Aaron, it's really hard to tell because, again, it is in response to those rising coronavirus numbers. Doctors say that they want to get these restrictions gone as soon as possible so that patients can have con more contact with their families. But those are some of the worst numbers that we've seen since June. Now, there are some exceptions uh, at these three hospitals, including uh, patients, uh, maternity and child patients, um, hospice or end of life care. There's also exceptions for the neonatal unit and for patients with disabilities who might need somebody with them who can advocate for them. But again, for the foreseeable future, the, these uh, restrictions will be in place. Doctors saying that we need to move quickly to get ahead of these numbers. One uh, benefit is that uh, they've invested in technology that allows patients to have more contact with their families. It's a combination of wanting to make sure that we keep uh, families safe, that we keep uh, patients who are in the hospital safe. We have a more robust virtual platform that we're utilizing now based again on our experiences. Now, not every hospital is making this switch yet, but of course they are all watching these numbers. I talked with a doctor today at Hartford Healthcare who says that they wanna make sure that patients can have contact with their families as long as possible because that produces the best possible outcomes, but this could all change anytime. So the best advice that they have for anybody who's planning a visit to a loved one in a hospital, make sure you continue to check in because at any time, any hospital could make a similar change. Live from Hartford, Mike Savito, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.